Hello everyone, we are back at it again with another Unity tutorial. And as you can see already, in this part we're going to be giving our enemy some health components. So let me start off from the beginning by just getting rid of this slider and the image, just so we can remember what we did for our own HP. So we're going to go to Canvas and I'm just going to get rid of this right here that I've called Enemy HP. And we're going to go to Canvas again. This is where we put our HP for our player and we're gonna right click on this and then go to create create empty and then once we've got create empty working what we want to do is call this enemy HP and then the next thing that we want to do is to go into the scene view and see where our enemy HP is actually positioned now we don't want our enemy HP in the middle of the screen because that would be ridiculous so what we want to do is go to this anchors menu and as before we're going to hit alt and control and we're just going to clamp it over to the position that we want it in and then we're going to resize it a little bit so let's reference what we did uh, with this component so we had a height of 50 which I'm liking here and we had a width of 100 which we're going to change that actually because our enemy is going to have more health than us just to add to some of the difficulty so we've changed our height to 50 as you can see there and I think I'm going to take the width of the component to about 350 and leave it at that. Okay so we've got that clamped in there. Now the next thing that we want to do is right click again, go to UI and we're going to go to image and you guys remember what we did with this. So first things first let's clamp it in to where we want it positioned so we're going to hit alt shift again and we're going to clamp it here and we're going to resize it a little bit let's uh, reference our HP image for our own HP so let's take a look at that and that was width 25 by height 25 and I'm liking that so I'm going to keep it the same for the enemy so width 25 height 25 and this is where our image is going to be. Now, as you remember last time, what we did is we just imported an image into our assets folder, preferably a PNG because you don't want a JPEG sitting on top of your game. So what we want to do is import a PNG and then we're going to go to that PNG once it's imported. So say this was, um, usually it'd be set as texture, remember? So we're going to go to the object, we're going to go to its inspector and we're going to select 2D and UI and that's the only way that we're going to be able to select it when we go to source image so just click on the little eye thingy and uh, the bullseye thing and then what you want to do is just click on the image that you've selected for the enemy's health again this can be anything you want it to be and let's just line it up with our own HP component so let's see how far that comes into it uh, go to the image so that's 4.4 so just to line that up we're going to make our image for the enemy health come in by 4.4 now the next thing that we want to do is add a health bar so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on enemy HP again and we're going to go to slider UI slider and now we've got the UI component in our game view, in our scene view even, and we've got the inspector open for this component. So first things first, we just want to change a couple of settings on this. Uh, let's change the positioning of this. Now what we can do also just to freely change the positioning is to click on this. It's not going to come up with like a grippy icon, just your points will do. Click on this and hold shift and this will keep it align in line and you can drag it along. Don't go crazy though, because um, yeah, sometimes it will go out of line. And then we've, I'm pretty sure we've got it lined up with our other slider down there. And we've made all this like canvas space, but what's the point in not using it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the width of this component to about 200. See how that fares for us, uh, 300 if that's any good just trial and error at this point until you find something that you like 
Okay, that's the thing. Don't hold shift and then dr try to drag it because that won't work. So I think 200's working, I mean 300's working fine for us. So we can leave it at that. And then the next thing that we want to do is refer to some of the things, just so you guys remember the methods that we go through uh, to do this. So you see your slider here for our own HP. And let's take a look at the differences. So what we want to do is get rid of this uh, slide handle area. So delete that. I just right click, but you can hit the delete key. And then now it's looking a bit more like our own component. And what we want to do is we want to go to slider. We want to make the maximum value 100 or whatever value you want. So I'm going to make my enemy have uh, 100 hit points and you could say that your enemy has 50. It's just down to your own decision making. So we're going to leave the minimum value and we're going to have the maximum value there. And we're just going to check whole numbers. And let's take a look at what we've done for our other slider to make sure that we don't have any differences. It seems that everything is the same here with a couple of differences. One thing that we will get rid of though is this color tint. So we're just going to set that to none. So transition. So like that was color tint before, we're just going to set that to none. Just like with our other slider component. And we're going to set the current value of it to 100. So now it looks a lot more like our other slider component. Now if your settings are looking like this, then now if your inspector view is looking like this for your slider, then you've successfully set up your health bar for your enemy or nemesis player object. And we can get into actually figuring out how we're going to destroy this player object while also visually demonstrating that our uh, enemy is taking damage by the health bar reducing. So first things first, we want to save. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to go into scripts and then right click, go to create, and then C sharp script. And we're going to call this one enemy health. And then we're going to do it again, create C sharp script. And we're going to call our next one destroy enemy. And this is going to be essentially the same sort of scripts but just applied to our enemy game component and then we're going to save again and then head on over to mono develop by double clicking on one of our scripts okay so here we are in mono develop and in front of me i've got my destroy enemy script now we don't have to rewrite this script or get the raw script that we had before for our destroy our script because we've got everything that we need we just need to assign it to the right places so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our destroyer script and we're going to copy this so hit control c once you've highlighted everything apart from like the first line and um, do that and then control v just leaving a bit of a space just to make things look a bit neater now we want our attack damage to remain one or we could have it as two because our enemy is going to be, you know, having like 100 HP. But I'll just leave mine at one. Now the next thing that we want to do is we're going to say game object is the player object. So we've got the reference set up, right? This this is going to be attached to the game object shots two, I believe, our own shots. So we don't have to change anything there. What we are going to have to change, however is our reference on this line so what we're going to do is we're going to say enemy health instead of player health so we've got our enemy health script but we haven't written anything into it but we can just shortcut it because we've actually got the script and we're going to just put e player health because we don't want unity to get confused so what we want to do is where we see the red we're just going to put an e in front of that and this doesn't matter right now because our enemy health script is not yet established so it doesn't know that we're referring to take damage but let's take a look at some things here so we're going to try and find an object with the tag player which is completely incorrect so the first thing that we want to do is return to unity and now in unity we want to go to our nemesis game object now i've already set up a tag but let me show you how to do it again so on your nemesis game object go to add tag 
and then type in your tag there and then whatever your tag might be and then go back to your game object and assign the tag and it will be on the drop down I've already assigned mine and I've called it enemy and that's what I'm going to type in right here so enemy is our tag so once we find a game object with the tag enemy we're going to reference our enemy health script so once we've done that what we want to do is just to make sure that we're referencing our enemy health script here so we're going to go enemy health again just to make sure we're not getting confused with anything and at this point I do believe that our destroy enemy script is done that was nice and easy and now the next thing that we want to do is just go to our enemy health script and finish some things off so just the same with our destroy enemy script what we want to do here is we want to go to player health and we're just going to copy all of this up to where it's mono behavior and then squiggly and then we're going to paste that into here now we don't want our starting health to be 3 this time around so we're going to go 100 and then the final thing that we need to do is just take a look at slider and it says the slider the name slider does not exist in current context and the way that I figured out we could sort this out is just to right click on this word go to resolve and then uh, using unity engine.ui and then everything's fine we don't have any red text which means that our code is a-okay so we're gonna save both of our scripts and return to unity right now the first thing that we want to do is go to our enemy game object and we want to go to add component scripts and we're gonna select our enemy health script and the next thing that we want to do is we want to drag that enemy slider into the area assigned for our slider. So I go here and then where it says health slider we just drag that into there. And then that's going to reference the slider that we've got here. The next thing that we want to do is find out what our shots are. So we're going to go to our player object, we're going to go to bullet spawn and we're going to just search around a little bit and see what shots we're using so I've put the script play bullet on here because it's part of our movement script and it says we are using shots 2 so we're going to go to prefabs we're going to go to shots 2 and we're going to go add component script destroy enemy and then we can change the attack damage here so it's not too big of a deal but let's just test out how things are running so far so if we just save this and then start the game let's see if our component is actually working okay so this is looking really good actually so every time our enemy takes a hit from me and because I've got rapid fire this is happening quite fast every time our enemy takes a hit from me they lose some health and every time I take a hit I lose a fraction of my health until I'm dead and look the enemy and I killed each other at the same time so so that has been this part of this unity tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed that if you did then um, I, so that has been this part of our unity tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed that and if you did, just... So that has been the end of this Unity tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, then uh, leave a response. Leave maybe something about... Um... So I hope you guys enjoyed that Unity tutorial. It's been really good adding these UI components and seeing our game come together at this point. And uh, I'd just like to say... So that has been the end of this part of our Unity tutorial. 
so that has been the end of this part of our Unity series. And it's really good to see that we've got our UI components working and we've got our destruction scripts working for our enemy and our player. So we've got the core of the game set up. Now the next thing that we're going to do is probably look at levels and different things like that. And I'll possibly continue on to making the game look a bit prettier just to show you guys what we can actually achieve with this formula. But for now that is me signing out. If you like this video, wanna comment or subscribe, you guys know what to do. And I will be back another time.